The current COVID-19 pandemic is an immense challenge facing the entire world, and it must be treated as such by all people. The Assembly of First Nations has declared a state of emergency for all of our people in First Nations. We need to do everything possible to prevent its transmission. Look, I know how much we enjoy gathering for our round dances, our powwows, our feasts and our ceremonies, but chiefs, counselors, young people, old people, men, women, no matter where you live, take this seriously. Everyone must stay home and self-isolate as public health officials are telling us to do. Essential service providers are the only non-residents who should be entering our communities, as well as the remote and isolated territories. Essential service providers only. We are advocating strongly to governments to ensure that financial and human resources are in place to meet the needs of First Nations, regardless of where you live. To our young people, you have one shot at this. Do not go out. This is no joke. The coronavirus is killing people. If you go out, you could catch this virus from one of your friends and without knowing it, you'll bring it home to your family and as for our old people, our elders. The kindest thing you can do for them is ensure they have what they need so that they don't have to leave their homes until this threat has passed. This could take months, and we need to look out for each other through these times. Understand you are all part of a massive global effort to stop a fast-moving killer disease. We have to do this. We can't deviate. Stay home and self-isolate. We must stay united to tackle this challenge. We must help each other, be patient with each other, and care for each other. We'll get through this together. Egose, thank you.